Hey, what's up my chemistry people? It is Mr. Boylan back for a thrilling but pretty short video. In this vid, we are gonna use thermochemical equations to calculate energy changes that occur in chemical reactions and classify reactions as exothermic or endothermic. All right, breaking it down as always, I just wanted to take a quick minute to clear up something that often causes confusion for students as we work through these types of problems. So specifically in this vid, we are gonna classify a reaction and then label the enthalpy change appropriately. All right, so be aware that you are gonna encounter a variety of subscripts that follow the delta H. However, they are simply indicating a specific type of reaction or change of state. All right, as you take a look at some of the examples that are on your screen and in your notes, notice that this is only a partial list, but some of the more common ones that you're gonna encounter. Things like enthalpy of combustion. Here we're talking about the heat energy that's released during combustion reactions. Enthalpy of neutralization. Heat released during those acid-base neutralization reactions. Notice that for combustion and for neutralization, we're only gonna have heat release. Those are exothermic types of reactions. We're also gonna see things like enthalpy of solution. Here you can have either a positive or negative delta H dep depending on whether the overall energy released or absorbed when you dissolve a solute in water is exothermic or endothermic. And you've got some classic examples for phase changes like enthalpy of vaporization or enthalpy of fusion. Both of these, of course, are always gonna have positive delta H's because heat energy is always absorbed as we go from a liquid to a gas or from a solid to a liquid. So just keep in mind, anytime you see those subscripts, we're still talking about an enthalpy change. It's just focused in on one specific type of reaction. And then also, I just want to remember when you see that little not symbol, recognize that we're simply talking about standard conditions, one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius. So as you take a look at your notes, I just want to work through two very quick examples. The first, we've got sodium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride and water. At this point, you should be able to recognize that this is an acid-base neutralization reaction. So although many times you'll just see delta H equals, sometimes you'll see a little subscript, newt for neutralization. It means the same thing, it's just giving us a little more information about the type of reaction. In one last example here, we've got methane gas reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Hopefully at this point you recognize this as a combustion reaction. Again, you'll see just delta H equals negative 802.5 kilojoules per mole. But if you want to be a little more specific, or sometimes they might throw in that this is an enthalpy of combustion, delta H comb, comb. Recognize that again, it's just giving you a little more information specifying that we're talking about a combustion reaction. So when, when you see those subscripts, don't panic. We're still just talking about enthalpy changes. We're just getting a little more information about the type of reaction that's occurring. Boom, and that does it for this one. I told you it'd be a short one. Have a fantastic day.